We GarageBand users are incredibly lucky nowadays to have an almost endless supply of effect plugins and instruments literally at our fingertips. With so much choice, it can be easy to forget that GarageBand for Mac actually comes with dozens of stock plugins out of the box. Some of these stock effects are brilliant, some not so much. In this video, I'll recommend the five stock GarageBand plugins that you should be using. GarageBand has a few stock distortion effect options. You'll find the most fully featured in the audio unit submenu under Apple and AU Distortion. By default, the AU Distortion effect tends to be on the more gnarly side. It can easily decimate any bit of audio you put it onto. Tame this beast of a plugin, however, and you can end up with some warm, grungy tones that sound great on things like drums and percussion. What can I say about GarageBand's pedal board that hasn't already been said? Lifted wholesale from Apple's other professional DAW, Logic Pro, the pedal board recreates over a dozen classic pedals and effects and allows you to mix, match and build your own dream pedal board inside GarageBand. Available in the amps and pedals submenu, the pedal board isn't just for guitarists. You can apply the pedal board and its plethora of fantastic pedals to whatever loop, instrument or recording you want. The sky really is the limit with this one, an absolute essential plugin for sure. For those of you who choose to forgo the auto mastering provided by mega plugins like Isotopes, Ozone, or online services like Lander or Cloudbounce, and prefer to use GarageBand built in tools to get your projects up to broadcast volume, will no doubt be familiar with this deceptively simple little plugin. For the uninitiated, the Multipressor is a bare bones version of the plugin found in Logic Pro. It acts as the sonic glue, kind of, that brings your garage band master together, despite only giving you limited features. You'll be dealing with presets mostly here, with the fast or slow attack 4-band option being the best in my opinion. This minimal plugin may not seem like much, but it can make the difference between a good sounding and a great sounding garage band master. The Bitcrusher is another stripped back version of a popular Logic Pro plugin that thankfully gives you a whole lot of customization options. While the two controls on offer here might not look like much, you are able to use the resolution and downsampling controls to create many different and unique sounds.
the presets are a good place to start when tweaking the bit crusher to your liking. Adding this guy to a duplicated track to provide colour and character to a melody is one of my favourite ways to use this great sounding effect. Last, but by no means least, is the Space Designer. Found in the reverb submenu of GarageBand's plugin menu, the Space Designer comes loaded with over a hundred different reverb presets. Yeah, that's right, a hundred different presets for you to play with. You'll find everything from top-notch recreations of guitar rooms, vocal booths, drum rooms, halls, stadiums and canyons, to weird warped reverbs and everything in between. Great fun to play around with, and with some very usable reverb sounds, this is my favourite of GarageBand's stock reverbs, despite its lack of fine control. Right, those are the five best stock plugins in GarageBand for Mac. Let me know your most used stock plugins down in the comments, and if you could give that like button a good hard slap on the way past, I'd really appreciate it. For more info on some excellent effects you can use in your GarageBand projects, including some freebies, watch this next. <laughs>